Building a software as a service solution requires addressing a few key technical challenges. In a set of recorded demonstrations, we will show how to address a number of these technical challenges through a set of architectural patterns exploiting key features in IBM middleware. One of the most important technical challenges faced by architects when building a software as a service solution is multi-tenancy. Multi-tenancy refers to the ability to host a single instance of a software solution that serves multiple client organizations. In the first demo in this series, we will show an approach for supporting multiple tenants on a single instance of an application server. We will also show how multiple roles can be supported for each tenant and how a new tenant can be provisioned on this single instance of the application server. In order to demonstrate how to address the multi-tenancy technical challenge, we have constructed a fictitious multi-tenant banking application. This banking application provides different virtual portals for different banks on a single instance of WebSphere portal server. Each virtual portal is configured with its own look and feel elements to provide unique branding for each bank. Each virtual portal supports isolation of user populations for each tenant bank through a multi-tenant LDAP tree structure in a single instance of Tivoli directory server. Each tenant bank supports a set of banking scenarios targeted towards common banking roles as illustrated in this chart. For example, the bank administrator role for each tenant bank can add or delete bank customers for their respective banks as well as view and update customer profiles. More details are included in the recorded demonstration. Links to the demos are available at the end of this presentation. The second technical challenge in a SaaS implementation is how to enable a unique user experience. How can the user interface layer in the multi-tenant application be customized for different tenants through configuration as opposed to writing new application code? How do you enable unique branding for different tenants? By using the WebSphere Portlet Factory Dynamic Profiles feature in conjunction with virtual portals, a developer can create multiple highly customized applications from one code base. Through dynamic profiles, an application developer can define variables in a common profile set that can be configured by each tenant's administrator at runtime. Tenant-specific customizations can be created by applying those configured profiles to their portlets at runtime to change the appearance, content, and behavior of the portlet. For example, the provider administrator can configure the portlet field's account name and account description to show in Bank 1's Add Account for Customer portlet. However, these fields can be hidden from the same portlet for Bank 2. A provider administrator can also change the list box selections for the account type element so that the choices differ amongst the tenants. In this demo, we will describe how to implement, manage, and specify profiles for multiple tenant banks. The third technical challenge in a SAS implementation is how to configure the data tier. There are varying degrees of data isolation for a SAS application that range from an isolated environment to a shared environment, including shared database tables. This demo will address how you can use a shared database environment, as opposed to an isolated database environment, for supporting a multi-tenant data tier in a SAS application. When considering a data architecture in a shared environment, an important challenge a SAS provider is faced with is how to customize the database schema for each tenant. One way to provide a very high degree of customization requiring minimal application changes is to use the pure XML capabilities provided in DB2 version 9. In the sample banking application, this scenario will show how to share database schema across two tenant banks through the use of a bank ID column and an XML column in each of the database tables. Through the use of an XML column to hold the tenant-specific data, we are able to configure each tenant's data as simply as you could by using custom columns in an isolated database environment. In addition, by using the same XSD with optional XML elements, we are able to use the same web services across tenants to update and maintain the tenant-specific data. The final technical challenge addressed in this series of demos is security. There are three security challenges that are addressed in the sample banking application. The security demos will explain how to prevent the user population of one tenant from accessing the virtual portal and portlet components of another tenant. Also explained is how to enforce access control for the different roles for each tenant. Lastly, how can you ensure that human tasks in a workflow are assigned to the appropriate roles? In order to address these security challenges for multi-tenancy, the following product features were exploited. 
WebSphere Portal Multi-Realm Security was used to isolate the user populations for each tenant bank so that a user for one bank can only authenticate to the virtual portal for that bank. WebSphere Portal Access Control was used to restrict access to portal pages and portlets by role. WebSphere Process Server was used to assign human tasks in BPEL processes to specific bank roles. A Tivoli Directory Server User Registry was used to assign each tenant's user population to different LDAP subtrees. More details can be seen in the set of three security demos. This chart depicts IBM's Enterprise Class offerings, which were used to build the Sample Software as a Service banking application. WebSphere Portal Server version 6.0 was used to build virtual portals with configurable JSR-168 standard portlets for supporting multi-tenancy. WebSphere Process Server version 6.0 was used to host shared SCA modules, BPEL processes, web services, and J2EE components for multi-tenancy. DB2 v91 was used to build shared databases. Multiple Tivoli security products, for example Tivoli Directory Server, were used to secure our software as a service solution. Rational Software Architect, WebSphere Integration Developer, and WebSphere Portlet Factory were used for modeling and developing configurable service components and metadata. The Developer Works articles listed here provide more details on the architectural patterns used for addressing the technical challenges discussed in this demo series. IBM Software provides a number of features which can be exploited to build a software as a service solution. Please click here to view these demos. IBM has innovative resources and programs to help you manage change and become relevant in the software as a service market. Whether you're an ISV, system integrator, or reseller, we can provide education, support, and benefits to help you grow revenue and differentiate yourself. The first step will be to join the SaaS community. You will automatically be kept aware of new SaaS technical benefits and workshops and get the enablement help that you need to transform your application for delivery in the IBM Software as a Service model. Then, as a member of the IBM SaaS community, you can register at the Virtual Innovation Center, VIC, where you will get personalized access to product support and education to help build your software as a service knowledge and skills. As an advanced level member of Partner World, you have the opportunity to gain access to additional marketing and sales support by qualifying for the software as a service specialty. For more information, visit our main site at www.ibm.com slash partnerworld slash sas.